The federal government has launched the Conversion Incentive Program as part of the Gas Security Initiative in the Belkota Diagon State Capital with the aim of enhancing accessibility to compressed natural gas. This initiative is designed to provide relief to the populace in the light of the economic challenges resulting from the removal of the fuel subsidy, which has led to the widespread socio-economic difficulties throughout the nation. During the event held in Abelkuta at the state capital, Michael Oluagbemi, the chief executive and program director of the Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative, emphasized the necessity of this program to effectively harness the gas resources available in 30 out of the 36 states of the Federation, thereby promoting economic recovery and growth. So this program that Mr. President, and I've seen a lot of people, a lot of, and I, I was just about responding to one online, where people say, oh, it's just a fad. It is not just a fad. It is our only savior on the path to energy security and development. Every country in the world is moving their country very rapidly away from crude oil because there's only a finite amount of crude oil below the ground. And crude oil is often found in very difficult places. If it is not a place that is riddled with terrorism, it's a place that is riddled with strife. And the hard vents and the finding of crude oil always come with corruption, bad governance, as well as terrorism. Look at all the top producing crude oil countries in the world. There's one conflict or the other, including the United States. The hard vents of that product leads to economic issues in the country that find them, generally speaking. So it not, just makes more sense from the perspective of energy security that we seize this moment. We seize the moment that Mr. President has given to us to leverage on the technology that we have, to take advantage of the resources that we have access to, to do what is right for the future generation of Nigerians and move our country directly towards gas. Oluwagbemi highlighted that the energy transition aims to drive economic recovery and growth. The initiative will provide major transport operators with complementary vehicle conversions, as noted by the Ogun State Governor, Dakbo Abiodun Special Advisor on Energy, Jide Onokoya, who called the program transformative. Uh, we're very welcome of it. We believe it's going to be a cha game changer for the state of, for the people of Ogun State uh, by being able to convert from higher uh, expensive fuels like gasoline or petrol and diesel to a cheaper, cleaner burning fuel like gas can also can only help uh, the people of Ogun State. Uh, we're going to reduce pollution by a significant amount, uh, reducing the particulates of uh, nitrox oxides and uh, CO that goes into the atmosphere from our roads can be reduced by a significant amount to improve the lives of the people. And then furthermore, in this state and the economy, uh, the cheaper fuel uh, does help with uh, people's pockets and the ability to uh, get transport and get from A to B. So it helps commerce and the state in general. And so we are here to fulfill the president's promise here in, a, in the city of Abeokuta. And uh, what we will be providing, working with convention center partners like the one that hosted us today, and we signed up a four of them here in Ogun State today, which made the 60th convention center we signed up across Nigeria uh, for the program, now activated in seven states. Uh, the idea is that these convention centers will get the convention kits that the Federal Ministry of Finance have purchased for free, and that they will be sent members of NURTW, NATO, Raytheon, uh, other commercial drivers, including boat drivers and Uber drivers, uh, um, uh, rideshare drivers, uh, they will be able to bring their vehicles here on nomination uh, to be converted for free. Uh, we'll pay for the installation and we'll also provide the kits for free. And this is being done on a rolling basis. So of course everything will not happen in a single day, but what we are doing here today sets, it off, sets this program off in Ogun State. Uh, starting from today, they will have kits here, as you've already heard. Uh, 50 nominees from each of the three major unions are going to be utilizing not just this facility, but the other three facilities to ensure that conversion starts. When that conversion starts, those vehicles will be able to fuel in any of the CNG refueling stations that are also present here in Ogun State. They will be able to go further on using gas, and as well as uh, the uh, uh, much, much cleaner, safer, more reliable gas that's available to them. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.